very, very well known for, like, a, I feel, a gift from God that I was given, which is uh, like a one-finger press-up. Uh, I am the founder of the Guinness World Record of one-finger push-ups and got it in the book in 1985. But since then, I've gone on to do it on top of a six-inch nail, which no one in the world can do, only me. Well, having achieved this, I've been very fanatical with the press-ups over the last 30 years. And um, what happened, I, I developed arterial fibrillation over the last, say, 10 years. And um, it was not really safe to carry on doing that sort of stress and strain on the body. But I wouldn't listen to anybody, and it's, it's all down to me. I just wanted to carry on doing it. And um, one morning uh, this year, I woke up and I had, I had like a pain all on the back of my head for a week. And um, it didn't feel right, you know, I just felt, it felt very uncomfortable. And on a Saturday morning, I woke up, I got out of bed and I could hardly, was unable to walk hardly to the toilet because everything was spinning and violently. And uh, I held hold of the sink in the bathroom to keep me balance. And I, I was very scared because I, I thought it was a, some, another problem I had with my ear because I had a very serious ear disease, cholesterol 20 years ago and I thought it was that that was activated and going into the line in the brain. So anyway, I knew I had to go to hospital and um, I drove to, because I, I can't eat yeast, I have to get yeast free bread so I'll get it in simply delicious in cock seeds, they make it special for me. So I had to make that decision, do I go to hospital or go and get me bread? Well I, I thought well, I've got to go and get me bread because I didn't want to let it remain down and it was about nine, ten mile drive. So I drove after the stroke, well, I didn't know it was a stroke at the time, I drove after the stroke for about nine miles to go and get me bread. And when I got there, I didn't know I was going to drive back because I felt so ill and the balance was terrible. So anyway, I, I managed to drive back to my house with the bread and then back to my sister's house who got me a taxi up to the hospital to find out you know, what was going wrong with me. And, um, you know, I went into the accident emergency and from the minute I walked into the accident emergency, my whole experience with the National Health and the doctors, the nurses, everybody was first class. Everyone was so professional. Everyone helped, went over and above more than they had to, to make sure that, that I was safe and that, you know, that I was treated properly. And I can't, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I can't thank them enough. You know, they, they, the stroke team were first class. The yeah, the stroke nurses, they came in to see me to evaluate how bad I was. And, you know, they observed me and asked me questions, uh, got me to do various like, physical exercises, like touching my nose and different exercises with the hand. and. Uh, try to walk a little bit, you know, to see how bad my balance was. And um, they got me to do some other exercises, and they said they were quite advanced for someone who, you know, was in the position I was in. And they said I did very good at them. And um, yeah, they they were first class as well. You know, they really helped me out. Yeah, they came, Helen and uh, Charmaine came out, and they they discussed what my goals were going to be over the next two to three months or you know in the near future and they, they wanted to help me to achieve those goals with the physiotherapy and the encouraging me to to get better so they did discuss what targets we wanted to reach and then we started working towards them and um, yeah they were brilliant them too yeah, there, there was a couple of other ladies come around with them as well. I can't remember who they were, but it was all part of the team, and they, they were all brilliant. Did you? Yes, a thousand percent. Yeah. I'd like to say a huge thank you to everyone. And it's, it's it's difficult because you can't thank every single one individually, but I do mean that to everyone that I've just dealt with me, and that Annie Annie uh, Stokes from the stroke team, she was brilliant as well. I'd like to thank everyone, and, and I've also spoke to the manager, is it Chris? 
Chris Getty. He was he was great on the phone as well. So yeah, I can't fault anything. You know, they, it was all it, everything was done so professional and so so fantastic.